Hi guys, it's Kiarko here, back with another speed build. This is a speed build of Pebble Pond Park, which is just this cute little name I came up with for this park that I made. Um, the reason I wanted to make a park is just because I wanted to play around with these two bridges that I, I picked out from the debug menu. Um, I really like the green bridge. I feel like it, it's got like this really cool kind of antique-y, kind of reminds me of New York a little bit, that bridge for some reason. Maybe it's the green color. I'm thinking like the Statue of Liberty or something. Anyways, I really wanted to create a park that was surrounding like a little pond. Um, and that's just exactly what I did. Uh, this isn't like a super high concept build. It's a pretty simple lot, um, but it ends up looking really, really nice. And I actually do really like this for my game. I feel like it's a really good place for Sims to, you know, take a morning stroll, um, walk their dog, just, you know, it's a nice park. I like this park. Um, so here I'm just scrolling through the debug menu, just trying to pull out literally anything that would work for my park. Um, and now here I am creating the central pond. It's a pretty big pond, I would say. Um, if I had my way, this lot would be a little bit bigger so I could have more room on the sides for, for like more pathways. Um, but it still ends up being a pretty decent size, I think. Um, I chose this lot in particular just because I really like the surrounding buildings around it. This just feels like a very peaceful, calm area. Um, I didn't want this park to be like in the center of like a bustling city or anything like that. So kind of went with this environment, which I feel like works out pretty well. Um, obviously it's called Pebble Pond Park because there's a pond in the center, but the pebble part comes from this pathway, which you can see kind of looks like a bunch of pebbles. Um, so that's where the name comes from, Pebble Pond Park. Um, save that three times fast. Um, but yeah, uh, I was trying to figuring, I was trying to figure out like how I was going to like line my paths with dirt, um, but it ended up looking really weird. So I do end up lining them with rocks, so get ready for some rock placement because there's going to be a lot of rock placement in this build just so you guys know i'm warning you ahead of time um but this this is not a very long build at all it's only like a 10 minute video um but it still ends up pretty being pretty detailed i think especially with the green work um i am let's see what am i doing now i was hopping around all over the place while i was doing it um just because like there's not really like central points of the park to focus on it's just kind of like the park as a whole so i kept being like "Ooh, shrubs over here shrubs over there oh, i need a tree here oh i need gates over here i just kept jumping around um and i'm doing that right now i'm literally doing like the whole oh flowers over here right now Ooh, tree over here um tree over here Ooh, tree over here yeah that's just what i'm doing um <laughs> more trees i really like these trees this these like rusty red colored ones i think they're really cool i've never seen a tree like that in real life i would like to though um here i'm putting lily pads in the pond making it seem very nice um i mean there's i put a boat in the pond i mean it's probably too small of a pond to have a boat in and uh, you probably couldn't even fish here because I don't know, I just feel like you couldn't. And there's no like clear like point from which the boat can like enter and exit land. So I didn't really think that one out, but I do like the boat detail, just like aesthetically. I feel like it looks really nice. Um, without the boat, this park would be a little bit less special, I feel like. I like the boat, the boat is staying. Um, but here I am doing all my rock placement. Like I said, prepare for rock placement. There is a lot of it. <laughs> I wish I had some special technique to explain, but it's really just placing rocks. Look how I'm placing them so elegantly. <laughs> well, while I'm doing rock placement, <laughs> um, uh, check out the Discord, guys. It will be linked in the description. I really appreciate if you guys would join. Um, again, because I like to talk to you guys, and it's a way, it's more interactive than uh, the YouTube comments, because we can, I don't know, we can talk a little bit more. I don't know. Uh, just check it out. Um, like I mentioned in, let's see, a video a while ago, or Last my last video, I don't remember. Um, I mentioned that I had this idea where you guys could like send me photos or pictures, or not pictures, uh, drawings that you guys made um, of potential characters that you would like to see me make in Create a Sim. Um, and if that's something you guys are interested in, please join the Discord down below. Um, we'll be talking about it more on there. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was a really cute way for us to interact and create more Sims together. And I could like, I don't know, you guys could come up with some crazy character ideas and I could build them and it would be really fun, I feel like. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, or if you have any other ideas for like any other sorts of types of videos that I can make because I am always looking for suggestions. I'm always looking to interact with you guys more, do more things. And speaking of which, we hit 200. I'm so happy about that. Um, like I mentioned before, thank you guys so much. <laughs> you guys are amazing and you guys know it. I mention all the time. I love you guys. Just keep doing your thing. <laughs> you guys are so cool. Um, 
but I really want to do something for you guys for like the meeting the 200 follower or subscriber place <laughs> I just I want to do something for you guys so let me know if there's like a special video you would like me to make a special event a live stream anything you guys want um, I, I will do it because I want to <laughs> thank you in any way that I can um, yeah so let me know. <laughs> um, but here I am just doing uh, more greenery. It's gonna be the same. I'm always just gonna be doing greenery since it's like a park, right? Um, but it's coming together now. Can't you guys see it? Like, isn't it? It's such a beautiful park. I would really like to take a stroll here. Um, yeah, isn't this nice? And I can just imagine there would be like geese or ducks in the pond. Oh, I really had, oh, damn. I wish I had some ducks, you see. <laughs> It's a weird sentence. I wish I just had like duck custom content so I could put little ducks in my pond. Oh my god, I really wish I thought of that before. I would definitely have gone out of my way to get get duck custom content. <laughs> I freaking love ducks. They're so cute. Um, I, I was at the zoo a little long time ago and um, I remember seeing the ducks there and we just watched the ducks for like literally like 30 minutes. Even though we were at the zoo and there were like lions and tigers and bears. <laughs> oh my. But uh, we watched the ducks for a very long time because the ducks are so cute and I love ducks. So yeah, <laughs> be nice to your local ducks. Um, yeah, here I'm just putting in my lamps um, because people need to see where they're walking at night. Um, I chose these lamps just because I thought they kind of had like this older cool feeling to them. I don't know. I just thought they were cute and I like those lamps. Um, and then let's see. I create this little fountain corner. I do end up getting rid of the fountain and swapping it out with a statue of like the person who like built this park. Um, just cause the fountain thing was, it looked kind of weird in this corner and I didn't really dig it. So what we end up going with instead is this fountain or this statue of a guy holding a shovel, which I thought was appropriate for a park because shovel reminds you of dirt, reminds you of parks. Um, <laughs> and I figured maybe that was a statue of like the guy who maybe donated to have his park made or just like the person who built the park. Um, maybe that's a Mr. Um, that's like, that's John Pebble Pond, and this is the Pebble Pond Park. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Um, but I'm just putting in my remaining greenery, just covering up the corners of the pond so it looks more natural. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing there. Just putting in little bushes. Uh, more greenery over here. I'm really happy with my greenery placement in this, this park. I feel like it turned out pretty well here. I put this little chain link fence thing um, around the edges where um, people could potentially accidentally walk into the pond without realizing it since there's so much greenery around the edges. Um, I thought that the fence around the pond was a good idea so that if people are visiting, they don't, you know, walk off the path and, you know, drown, you know? So like, it's, it's just a safety thing, which is redundant in The Sims, but <laughs> I like realism. So it's a, it's a realistic safety thing. Um, more flowers, because I'm always just going to be placing greenery. Um, I wanted to put an arch at the entryway. I just really honestly didn't find any arches that I like, so I ended up keeping it just plain like this, which I feel like still works. It looks just, you know, like a simple, um, neighborhood park. Um, and then in this corner I'm just going to put in some picnic tables, and then the rest of the park is also going to get some picnic tables, so that people can have little picnics here, and go on dates here, and have birthday parties, and do cute things here. Um, gonna put in some benches all around for people to sit. Um, and we're almost about done with this build after I, I place all my benches. Isn't this a nice park? I'm just like, <laughs> The Sims is such escapism for me because I always just build things that I want to be in. And that's a little bike rack I put up there. Um, yeah. Alright, this is the build. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, and let me know what you think of what else I talked about, about the drawing, creative sim thing, and just about what you would like to see for a celebration of, uh, of the, the 200 subscribers video. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Please any, please leave any, um, suggestions or requests you have for builds down below because those are always very creative and awesome. And I always end up making my best builds from your guys' ideas. So please leave any ideas you have below. Um, as always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time.